Hey guys, it's Maddie, and I'm actually going to be doing something different. So, I just watched like the first 35 seconds of Dangerous Jungle Spider by Brave Wilderness, and it's, and it's scary. So if you hear me cough any time through this, it's because I'm like kind of, I think, getting sick. Or something. So if you hear coughing, that's just me. So I would have to cough in the middle of this sometimes, maybe. But so here we go. Can I tell you something about yesterday? So. Yesterday, I found a snake, a dead snake, with a bump in it. It was scary. I stepped on it. So, snake, I think snake guts on my shoes. I don't know, but something snake is on my shoe. So, here we go again. Ugh, wait, this won't go at all. Central America's most dangerous arachnids. However, before we could even begin to look for eight legged creatures, we stumbled upon the rainforest's most infamous pit viper. Uh, the most common terms you hear me say is biological landmine. And we haven't been out for more than 15 minutes tonight, and already we've come across one of the most toxic snakes in all of Central America the Fairlands. It's right there. It's a nut. So, I'm going to tell you my lighting idea for this. So, this is me without my lamp on. You can't see me. With my lamp on. Without it. Without it on. With my light on. Without my light. With my closet light. So which one would be better, my closet light? Or this light? I'm, I'm still sticking with that one. So here we go. And I'm gonna try not to fall off the bed. So it is all about these biological landmines, so it's just coincidence that we came across this small one right now. All right, Mark, just crouch down real slowly there. See, it's right in the middle of the walking trail. Barely that is, see it. It is perfectly camouflaged. We almost stepped right on it. You can see it's staying completely still right now. And look at that camouflage. This speckled leaf-like patterning allows it to perfectly blend in to these leaves and all of this dark mud. I'm not even sure. Like, I've got a shot of you and a shot of it. I'm not even sure if people can see where it is. It's so oh, yeah. Well, actually, that's a good thing. Why don't you just kind of give a general view of this area and let people try to pick it out on screen. Can you guys see the fair to land? Can you actually see it? Because I can't see it. What? So, if any of you can see that, like this video. Please. Ow, my arm. That hurt. I can't spot it. Even though I've seen it, I can't see it. So, if any of you could see it in that time, or if I didn't give you enough time, you could just pause the video and see if you can find it. Because I can't. And I have it paused. I can't find it. At all. So, what? Let me go do something. Okay, I'm done with that. So, 
here is the video now. Oh, now I see it. Oh, I can't do that. Never, ever, ever in my long leg of life. Never, ever, ever in my long leg of life. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long have you ever, ever, ever in your long leg of life? Need a long leg of sailor, sailor with a long legged snake. Nope. I never will come on, come upon a snake ever again. Encountering snakes is all about being in the right place at the right time. But when it comes to encountering human crawlies, these encounters usually happen when you least expect them. Oh, this is just creeping me out just by watching it. That right there, that's a fishing device. Okay. I can't look. I'm actually doing a pretty golf. good job without coughing. Thank you, Brave Wilderness, for uploading this video to make me scared out of my mind. Another one of the Costa Rican rainforests' biological landmines. How do these work? They vary. This appears to be some variety of bark scorpion based on uh -huh. arrow front pinchers. But I do not know how potent the venom is, so I certainly do not want to be stung by any species that I cannot properly identify. Pretty good size one, too, if it is a bark scorpion. Look at that stinger. Can you see it just in between my gloves there? Yeah. All right, let's put the scorpion back up on the side of this old shed and keep searching for the wanderer spider. Oh, I thought he was going to get stung from that music. It was turning into a night of biological landmines. And while we came upon several different spider species, each one more creepy than the last, our target is yet to... So I'm showing it this way now. Because I've been about to fall off the bed a thousand times. I'm trying to get give you a good angle of it. You guys don't have a good angle right now. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to be trying to fix it. Because I have my pop socket holding it up right now. Is that too high? That should be like, like there. Oh boy. It, it's on. Look, look through there. Can you see the red underside of your face? Too high? Okay. Now I have a good. Now you guys have a good view. Oh no. This was the beginning of the video. Let me see the castle. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, you guys got okay shots, right? First, let me spoil this part for you. So if you're watching this right now, can I spoil it for you? probably going to say no, but I am spoiling it. The spider is on the leaf right now. But then it actually gets off of the leaf. Which I will scream and probably hit the wall because I'm scared of spiders completely. So, here you go.
It actually goes near Mike's foot. No. Oh, it's in there. It's in there, but it doesn't Ooh, stay in. No, it's not. Hold on. Nobody move. Uh. Back, 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 back. See how they jump? Got it. Oh, thank goodness he got it. That was a little nerve wracking. Do you think he's going to wow. get bit by it? This is scaring me. I can't do this. Yeah. Okay, so you aren't getting by, are you? But and this is bio landmine number one. You always see them hanging up in the trees, climbing up the trunks of the trees, running across the jungle floor. The wandering spider is quite possibly the most dangerous arachnid you can come across. So there's a now when I say wandering spider, that's a generalization for any there's just five minutes left in this. But I'm sorry, but I am actually going to end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please add me on Musical.ly, the at symbol. So the at symbol, if you can see that good. J C A it would be J C H I N T O N for musically. You may have to look at it another way some way because it's good for me, but it will be backwards for you. So bye guys. Love you. Peace.